There are still many other things that we see retrogression around. I think on health, we still see that the indicators on health are not very good. Infant mortality actually seems to be going up a little bit. Uh, maternal mortality is also off track. So those are things that I think the ruling party needs to take into consideration. Nobody expects, even in the government, to have completed implementation of all the items in the manifesto. There were about 18 major items. Take the example of energy. To construct a dam, you must do a study, you do a feasibility study, then you look for the money, you shop for contractors. If all goes well, you need a minimum seven years to have that project concluded. And therefore, it is wrong for somebody to try and judge. The, the report was done without consultation of the government, but some of the findings are generally they have given a credit to the NRM government, but had they, be, had they go to our statistical data, they would have uh, discovered that we have done even much more better than what has been put in their, in their records. It is not possible to change a sitting government because of the power that our constitution bestows on a sitting president. So I'm calling upon civil society before we do appraisals or while we do appraisals, we should also put a lot of emphasis on empowering the people of Uganda to be able to fire a government they are not happy with.